I've never really done any walking before, um, not really any type of exercise actually, but after I got divorced I had a little bit of free time and I wanted really to do something for myself. I wanted to try something different and also I wanted the opportunity to meet new people, maybe make some new friends as well and that's why I thought maybe I should try some walking and try maybe a local walking group. So when I looked found Take a Hike online, I could see they really clearly displayed what walks they did and they had walks on every single weekend. I worked full time and I could see there were walks on Saturdays and Sundays and what I quite liked was that you didn't have to book on that walk so you didn't have to commit to anything up front. You could literally just turn up, give it a go and if you didn't like it, you never had to come back. I've really enjoyed walking just to see the gorgeous places that there are um, in England. Something that has quite shocked me is just within an hour's drive of where I've lived, and I've lived in Leeds most of my life, but I've been stunned at the gorgeous places I've found. And these are places that are not far away from where I've lived. I'd heard of the names, but I'd never been to them before at all. So being part of Take a Hike, um, certainly after like when you go through a divorce, you lose a lot of friends actually going through a divorce and you do lose confidence and it's a really difficult time quite a stressful time but joining a walking group and take a hike has really like helped my confidence you meet all different types of people and um, from all sorts of background actually and just chatting to somebody on a walk it's a really easy environment it's not pressurized at all and the nice thing about a walk is you can talk to somebody for a couple of minutes and then you walk walk on and then you end up talking to somebody else so it's really not pressurized it's really relaxed and it's a really nice place to sort of meet new people without it being in like a stressful environment one person that I always not noticed was a guy called Rich um, he was often at the back and even when I got like a little bit better and I wasn't always the person at the back I could always see him at the back helping people so bit by bit I got to know Rich because by default I was often at the back um, I used to call myself the donkey at the back, particularly going uphill I was very very slow and still am actually quite slow going uphill so we got we get chatting and um, I got to find out about him he did myself and we were both been through similar situations both got married quite young brought our families up both been through a divorce and started walking for that reason so we had quite a lot in common and we would chat away and over time actually we actually went ended up going out on a date and from there we're now actually married which was a total surprise so joining the ramblers actually led to me finding a, a husband um, of all things <laughs> So when Rich and I used to go walking at the same time, we'd been, we'd been take a hike and um, particularly the walks, like in winter actually, they were a little bit muddy, times I like would fall over or covered in mud and he would really help me. And when he, when he actually asked me out, I thought to myself, my goodness, if this guy really likes me, when all he sees me is covered in mud, looking a real mess, um, struggling up hills, you know, not got a lot to offer actually, I thought this guy's a keeper. Walking in winter is really great because you spend most of your time actually inside. So I sometimes go to work in the dark, come home in the dark, um, you're in a car an awful lot or in an office. So to actually get outside, it's really lovely in winter. And although sometimes you get really wet rainy days, there's a lot of beautiful, really sharp, clear, might be cold but you can get wrapped up and the scenery actually is totally different to the summer it's actually one of my favorite times of year to walk as long as you're wrapped up and you're nice and warm i still remember feeling really scared on that first walk that i went with um with the ramblers and my local take height leads group but when I think back to where that's led, it, honestly, it's like a miracle, really. I've ended up climbing Mount Kilimanjaro, seeing the whole of England, really, and making some of the best friends that I've got. Join in with the Ramblers Festival of Winter Walks because you will get to see some amazing places that you probably wouldn't do if you didn't go along.